Yeah, you might say it's their last night of freedom. Tomorrow, training camp starts for Rob Blake and uh, Ryan Klo, and they are a Chronicle conversation dual subjects. How are you, gentlemen? Great. Welcome thanks. to Chronicle Live. And we brought, we brought Mark Purdy here from the San Jose Mercury News because it is a, a hockey night on Chronicle Live. Mm -hmm. We're going to get right into the Sharks here. So uh, tomorrow you guys reconvene. You got a little team meeting, I know, a little dinner at night, and then on the ice uh, Sunday morning at, at 9 a.m., Rob Blake and, and Ryan Klo. Rob, you want to jump in? Yeah, we, uh, we get going tomorrow with some physicals, medicals, and things, and then uh, meeting at night, and away we go uh, Sunday morning on the ice. So. And we, we had, uh, the other day we had uh, one of your teammates in, and we were talking about, you guys don't do a lot of, uh, in, as far as training camp, Dan Boyle was here, and we don't, you don't do a lot as far as the other sports go away for like 10 days, and you guys practice like three days in training camp, and then you go right out and start playing games right away on like four days, right? Yeah, yeah, we do it right in San Jose. Some teams throughout the league kind of have training camps in different uh, locations, but we've always done it right at, right at the Sharks Ice in San Jose, and it's, it's pretty quick. You jump, in, you jump into preseason games, I think, after three or four days, so it happens pretty fast. All right, uh, I've been looking at the, uh, the rosters they have. Uh, Coach McClellan was in about two weeks ago, and he's going to break it in 60-man uh, roster if the whole organization's coming in. He's going to break it into three teams, uh, Team A, Team B, and T Team C. Have you guys seen the roster yet? No, we haven't. Well, Team A, you're on Team A, Ryan. So you got Joe Pavelski as your center, and right now you got Patty Marlowe as your as your winger. So uh, will you guys stick together? You think during camp, or will he mix it up? How does that work? Do you think? I think we'll probably be together for a little a little while. Uh, Todd's pretty good at that. He usually likes to feel it out and give guys an opportunity to get some uh, chemistry. But uh, obviously, last year played with Mahalik a lot, so it's a little different. Going to right. be playing with Patty, but still got Joe uh, Joe at center ice. So there might be some changes throughout training camp, I'm sure. Unless, of course, uh, this trade that we're reading about, the heavily rumored trade. Mark, you may want to jump yeah, well, in here. Yeah, well, I was wondering, I was wondering, what do you guys hear? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I know, I know you haven't, but um, you've probably been in that situation where your name's been rumored at some point in your career that was going to go somewhere. How, how, does, how does a guy like Marlowe then approach this training camp uh, knowing that his name is on every internet screen in America that from anybody that cares about hockey. Yeah, I, you know, he's going to approach it the same way as he always does. I mean, obviously, you know, you can say as much as you want. You don't read, you don't hear anything. You'll know the rumors and you'll understand them. You hear them around the dressing room and that. But, uh, you know, as a professional, you show up every day, you do your job. It, it is part of the game, and, uh, and I think most guys have gone through it sometime in their career, and you, you learn to handle it pretty you, quick. You guys have had practice skates all week, right, mm -hmm. at the rink. Uh, while, the, while the rookies are at the one rink, you guys are at the other rink just yep. on your own. Marlo's been there, right? Yep. What's yep. he been like? What's he, what's he had same. to say? Anything? No, he's been the same. Okay. And that, that's a good thing about him. I mean, he, he's going to be the same person. And okay. We're not worried about that, uh, you know, one bit coming into here. What about the whole captaincy thing? I mean, what, what are you, what's your take on that, Ryan? Well, I think, uh, you know, this is kind of a surprise to all of us, just like, I guess, everyone watching. Uh, we didn't, you know, from here on in, we don't really know what's going to happen either. Obviously, you know, you hear a lot, everything's up for grabs. Uh, you can't really put your finger on one specific captain on our team. I think that might be a good sign. You might have a good group of leadership, a good core group. We'll see what happens. Uh, Either you guys want to be captain? I don't know. Well, apparently Danny Boyle was on here trying he to... He was, he was <laughs> in the seat the other night politicking for it. Yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. That's no, so Danny's making an early run. What, uh, well, Rob's, Rob's been mentioned, too. I mean, yeah. he's a, another obvious candidate. He's a veteran yeah. all that. I, uh, what's your feeling about that? Well, we're, we're pretty sad. I mean, uh, things will unfold through training camp, and there's always going to be a captain and assistant. I, I think the main thing that our team needed to get was uh, a standard set within our dressing room, and, and everyone's got to hold each other to that standard and so that's where I think collectively like he says there's a lot of guys that have played in uh, different games different tournaments and, and, and bigger games and things and they'll add their opinions but I, I think that'll be withheld within the room so if nominated would you serve <laughs> he's I would got serve. my vote <laughs> he, he is he's already lobbying uh, <laughs> Rob have, have you been a captain before either in LA or, yeah. or Carl uh, just in LA yep. just in LA you were yep. so how does this work do you guys is it a secret ballot do you stand up in the room and say Blake or Clo I mean how, how do you how do you figure out who the captain is, is the coaching staff just kind of well I, I, think it's, I think it's more the coaching staff a lot of times uh, I've played on different teams where uh, there hasn't been a captain set and, and you've had like kind of a private ballot vote uh, where guys put in their vote and you kind of add it up but I think it's gonna be more to the coaching staff and, and the GM and, and more the hockey uh, hockey staff this time and they're gonna choose and I don't know when I don't know if they're gonna wait till the end of training camp right before season starts but uh, I don't think guys are, are too worried about it we're pretty uh, comfortable with what we got yeah 
Uh, jumping back to the uh, rumored trade with Marlowe and, and Heatley, we were hoping to have Doug Wilson on the show, but he's been locked in meetings for the last uh, few hours, so unavailable to us. But it, it's, if the trade does happen, or if, maybe it's not Marlowe, maybe it's some other way, but if Heatley joins your team, you guys have played against him the last few years. What kind of player is he? What would he bring to this team, Rob? Well, I think any team he comes to is going to get 40-plus goals, and he's done it uh, year after year. He's done it in Ottawa there, so you know you get a, a guy who can score. If he's going to get the puck in the right position, he's going to get power play time he puts up big numbers and I played with him in a few different world championships and things and he, he's a quality person but he's a great player there wouldn't be a bad line made for you I could see Joe in the middle you on one side and Heatley on the other right yeah yeah I don't know how much they'll touch the puck on that line but <laughs> Rob, it's interesting you say he's a quality because because the rap he's against him this summer that is right. that he's been a whiner he wanted out of Ottawa right. he and the coach weren't getting along they can't you know what, what's the deal you've played with him yeah and it, it's a different rap I mean I, I think where it gets to a point when when he has to be traded that was a private matter it becomes public and he's kind of taken a back seat he, he stayed away from everything this summer shied away from the media as much as possible and and I think things just kind of uh, build from that but uh, again it's a tough situation when you when you ask for a trade and you want to keep things behind the scenes as much as possible it gets dragged in the public and people are going to take their views on them.